Brooks LaGuardia Airport hopes to reopen the runway soon where a Delta Airlines jetliner just skidded and crashed through a fence and the plane stopped only feet from Flushing Bay as it tried to land yesterday. Brian Webb has the very latest from LaGuardia. The damaged Delta Airlines plane that skidded off the runway Thursday is now in a hangar at LaGuardia Airport. Big cranes moved the MD-88 overnight. The flight from Atlanta was landing in the snow when it hit an embankment and crashed through a fence. It felt like, you know how the turbulence feel when you're going up? It felt like that when we hit the ground. The aircraft with 127 passengers and five crew members on board came to a stop with the plane's nose dangling over the frigid waters of Flushing Bay. I'm just thankful that we didn't go into the water. Delta 1086, tower. Tower, you have an aircraft off the runway. Passengers climbed down the wings to get out or jumped out of the rear of the plane. Several passengers were hurt, but not seriously. Federal investigators will examine the flight recorders for clues into what caused the accident. Airport officials say despite the snow, the runway was in good condition right before the crash. This particular runway had been uh, plowed shortly before the incident, uh, and uh, pilots on other planes reported good braking action. Aviation experts say investigators will look at the pilot's actions and look for any possible equipment failures. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. Now that crash also caused a small fuel leak, but that was quickly contained.